today uh, we have a very uh, unusual uh, day because it's the first time when we decided actually to record the interview with an artist after the exhibition took place. We are having uh, Sara Sheikh with us, a Pakistani artist who has been living in London for the last uh, 10, 15 years. 15 yeah. years and then who, who's been the Skyland painter all the time and who had her exhibitions uh, in many countries and now she's in Dubai with the exhibition titled Ode to Dreamers. Um, Sarah, please tell us what is that all about? Because people can definitely see what is, uh, what uh, city you want to, to show, but still I'm sure there are so many things behind that. The philosophy uh, you, are, you are trying to, uh, to share with the uh, audience. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Katrina. First of all, I'd like to say a lot of uh, thanks to you and to all of these, um, to all of those people that I met around in here, who um, who gave me such positive energy that made me paint. And, um, and you especially because it was you who encouraged me to produce this whole exhibition. If it was not you uh, who, give, who gave this encouragement, I, I don't think I could have gone on. A lot has been said about Dubai. Uh, it has been photographed. All the time people, um, you see drawings and paintings everywhere. Souvenir shops are full of such things and that's the, uh, the proof of it, of course. Yes. And I was wondering, is there any room left uh, to, to have a fresh look at the city? And the exhibition of Sarah is the proof that there is. And one can look at it totally differently and make it in a different way. Thank you, Sarah. So, uh, no, I would like to say thanks, a genuine heartfelt thanks to you also, uh, the way you hosted me and the way it all went. Um, so thank you. And now I'll tell you about, uh, about, about how it all began. So, so basically what happened was that I used to come to Dubai for really short visits because this, would, uh, this emirate would give me the best connection to Europe uh, on my travels in the summers. And whenever I'd see the desert from up in the sky, I would, uh, the desert would really inspire me. So the desert, would, uh, the, the desert would actually really inspire me and from up on the plane, when the plane would take off, I was um, startled by the glitters of this beautiful city, uh, which I would see only from the plane. And I've always wanted to come here and to see more and, and um, used to always think that when will be a time when I'll come here and, and, and do something and work uh, here. So uh, it was last year when, uh, when uh, I had the chance to come here and uh, see, but my expectations were not that great. I thought it is a desert, what, what more can it be to it? Obviously I had heard the brand uh, of this emirate quite a lot, but uh, I didn't appreciate it that much. I thought maybe it is a place which is um, full of locals, but it wasn't. And when I came here, finally I saw uh, that this desert was not a desert anymore. It was well, of course. An, uh, an oasis of so many nationalities and so many uh, amazing works had been done by the architects of, uh, of this place and it, it, it came to me that there is definitely somebody who's dreaming about out there, who's, who's planning it and uh, that is something that I started seeing. And I, because I used to ha take very long walks along the skylines, and because I am a skyline painter, and I have done skylines of uh, London, I've done skylines of uh, New York. Uh, when I came here, it was just magnificent. It was, it out uh, uh, casted all the skylines that I'd ever seen. The lighting impacts, and how beautifully uh, the, the, the lights of the buildings were, were, were glittering. What wondrous heights, what glittering enormity. It was, it really, that is where um, uh, my, sort of my dream almost began that I, that I want to uh, paint. 
Yeah, but so. the exhibition is called All to Dreamers. So uh, we understood the, uh, the word dream, of course, in w what you meant by that, but what about dreamers? Who do you mean by uh, dreamers? The ones who planned this uh, city, the ones who were, um, who were bold enough and sincere enough to take up these uh, steps and to turn this desert into the most sorted after emirate of the world. And how did they do that? It was so not fast. Have. Yes, and that also in just a, um, and that is where I was really, I started reading a few things about this emirate as to how it was done. And, um, and I started thinking that, uh, wow, what, a, what, what amazing buildings, what amazing skylines. What, what a use of uh, natural resources and to create it into such a um, magnificent, glorious, golden city. Uh, Sarah, when you, were, uh, uh, when you were in London after your first visit, uh -huh. I remember you wrote an email mentioning that although you're in London, but uh, your mind and your heart yes. is still in Dubai. Yes. So uh, how did it reflect in, your, in the paintings which you were doing at that time, being in London? Yes, um, I can tell you because I had walked and observed so much and the city had moved and stirred my imaginations so much that I had absorbed so much of energy uh, as far as the tallest building and the most luxurious um, um, hotel and the most uh, luxurious um, uh, projects, the metro systems. I had absorbed so much of it that it had to come down onto the canvas. And I was not really planning to, but it was just happening, I think. And uh, during the course of um, preparations of this exhibition, uh, I had to go back to London also because that's where my home is. Uh, and over there too, I was, um, I was not there. And, and I was still here. My heart was here because it had inspired me so much and what amazing projects um, uh, were these that, that people took on yeah. and reflects a lot of faith uh, and it reflected a lot of uh, undying hard work um, and, and a lot of faith and solidarity of the people who created it. So what amazing yeah, projects. Of course. And they changed the map of the world of with course. that. And they changed the lives of so many. I m was meeting people and they were telling me that, uh, oh, I found my dream job here. Oh, I found my dream uh, house here. So the dream so, is always there in, the, so, in people's, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, while talking to it them, you hear that be. quite often. Um, Sarah, I noticed that uh, all your artworks, most of them, um, the skyline of the city is reflected in water as if the viewer is standing on the other side and probably on the island and looks at the city uh, from the distance. So the water is kind of foreground and the city becomes the midground or even background. Uh, please tell us uh, why is it like that? Yeah. Huh. I, I feel uh, that is a very spiritual, there would be a very spiritual answer to this. Um, and that is that uh, the Creator who has created us uh, is reflected in, in everything. And, and a dreamer when sets out to uh, achieve uh, the dream and in that pursuit, he has to go through a lot of um, uh, conditions that are not amazing. So that is, but in every aspect, in, it, in every uh, step of the visualization of that dream, uh, the dreamer has to have faith and that faith is actually how I portray that faith is the reflection of the strength that comes from uh, the Creator uh, and then uh, it, it manifests itself in, into structural forms and for me reflection is, is everything is I think of my God all the time when I'm painting, when I'm looking at things, because it's all um, the faith that people had in God and God giving them the strength uh, and the opportunities and paving their ways on to achieve it. 
So this is what my um, answer would be to this one. Okay. Yes. Uh, coming back to the first, uh, to the previous conversation, you said uh, you had fears before the show. Yes. Uh, what about now, after the show? Oh. Uh, do you feel that people, re uh, your paintings were received well, well enough, or you still have some doubts? Uh, God's grace. I am very, uh, I have uh, no words for the kind of response that I got. I have to tell you, everywhere I went and uh, showed my idea and, uh, when, when meeting people and everyone who came to this exhibition was surprisingly uh, stunned. They were, they were very proud that their emirate has been celebrated. And uh, although they had seen it all in life, they were still very happy that somebody has paid such a tribute uh, to where they live. So, uh, and, uh, and a lot of people uh, were very happy because they thought they made the right decision to come here for the, pursue, for the pursuit of what was there in their hearts. So um, I had, uh, as, as you were present also and you know, yeah, um, that there were people from uh, so many representing countries and uh, the, the Emiratis were here as well and they uh, wanted, in fact one of the, uh, the, the chief guests that we have, he said that he wants uh, Sheikh Al Makhdoum to be here. To, to, uh, he wanted that he was here to see how his dream has been celebrated and obviously he could not be. So, uh, so it, was, it was amazing. I'm so thankful to all of those people who took out the time, came here and, um, and fulfilled um, and actually gave me so much more energy to, uh, to continue to do um, uh, and, and to continue to uh, to put into the eyes of the of the of the lookers of the viewers that yes we are all almost deserts and if we can do two things only we either bury ourselves into into those deserts that we are in or we make use of the little resources like these people did the little resources of, uh, um, of, of, of the environment and create glittering cities and if we really want to we can change the world map like these people did. So. Thank you Sarah, it was really inspiring so hopefully people who will come to see uh, they still have time until the 2nd of uh, March. Yes. Uh, so they will, uh, they will enjoy even more after hearing these words of yours. I hope so. Thank I you. So, I so want that people who are pursuing their dreams um, should come and have a look at how I have uh, uh, celebrated their city and how, how much their city and their endeavors um, inspire me. So it is a very, uh, it's an it has been an amazing uh, experience for me and I will cherish this and remember this in my, in a lifetime really. I'd like to celebrate more of it and continue uh, on, on this subject also. And it's a very, I want to say thank you again to everybody who was a part of uh, the management and all of that. And uh, a very heartfelt um, ode to the dreamers. And anybody who is um, who's listening to, to, to this, uh, this conversation, if they have any doubts in their minds, uh, and if they kind of change their, uh, their, their thinking a little uh, after watching this, um, I think I, uh, I would be successful. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much Thank for coming. You.